Hello, welcome to our short tutorial about Kettintosh. I will show you the construction of a basic floor plan with Kettintosh. After launching Kettintosh, you get an empty drawing window. Before we start, uh, we have to set the default unit of our drawing. We do this with options under Drawing. I select as unit meter. If you want to uh, use uh, uh, imperial units, you can just change this at the bottom. Okay, I just click on OK. Now for the printing, uh, we need a correct scale of our elements. Uh, uh, normal scale is 1 to 100. I just select it here. And my lines should uh, have a width of uh, 0.5 millimeters. So I just click onto the width, enter 0.5 and confirm with return. The uh, first line, I start by entering them. I select the line tool under arc. I enter the start location at the at this line and press return. Now I enter the angel and the length. Our house should be 10 meters. Now I need uh, also a vertical line. I start again at 0, 0.0 at 90 degree and 8 meters. And the zero point is currently at the bottom here. So I just click at the right top on zoom all and I see all elements. At uh, the top you find here the catch modes. Currently I'm in the freehand mode, but for continuing the drawing I select the automatic mode that uh, you will see the benefits of it. So we need uh, now the surrounding of the house. I select now the parallel line tool. I select the reference line. And the, you see here the automatic mode. It just finds this point. I click and get the line. It's next here. Okay. Now we have to uh, create the inner walls. So I uh, use again the parallel line tool. And now click the reference line on that side where the new line should appear. So I just click here. And I enter at the input line 0 0.3. And here we are. It's the same here. And the input line will default the last enter, uh, entered value. So I just can press return. And here again. Now we have to use the trim tool. And for this, just click here on trim and use the new. Uh, cut tool. Just click onto the elements that parts that should be removed. Okay, here we are. Now I want an inner middle wall. I just use again the parallel line tool. I click again onto the, my reference line. I want it at three meters. Okay. And we need a smaller inner wall. That's only 0 0.22. OK. And I use again the cut tool and cut this, cut this in the middle. And again here. Oh, that was just clicked a, a bit aside. Just use select undo line. Now we need a door into our wall. I just use again the parallel line tool. I use this reference line. We need the door at about three meters. And again, from this line, the door should be 0 0.8, 80 centimeters. Now we want to uh, 
draw the arc for the door and I want to use a smaller pen. I just use the arc tool and the automatic mode will just find this cross point. I enter the radio 0 0.8. The start point is at 0 and the angel is 90. OK, here we are. Now I just use the cut tool again. I want to cut this and this and this and this and this and this. And, and for the above lines, just use the eraser. Okay, ah, I have just cut it a bit too much here. I just use line tool from here to here. Okay, now we have the door. And the next is I want to create a symbol. So you can see the usage of symbols. I again use the line under arc. I switch to the freehand tool. I just click here. I enter the angel and our table should be one meter and switch back to the automatic tool and it should be 0 0.8 and again the parallel line tool from here to here and from here to here. I use now the text tool to enter a text. I enter it freehand again. Okay, I just use the hand to move our text a bit. And now I use under symbol, symbol from window. I just select my table. I have no additional elements, press return. I have to define the reference point in automatic mode again. I enter my the name, it's table. And now you see in the symbol area, you find now the table and the benefit of symbols for such elements as you can use the hand tool for example and just move it or even rotate it. Also I can select here the freehand tool, click onto the symbol and just place it here. 